comprehension syntax is a shortcut way to produce one series of values based on processing of another series so the syntax is different than conditional expression for example here for the list syntax we can write that we have to use the square bracket because it's the symbol of list then we can write like this way that expression then we are writing suppose we want to uh, iterate every item of a list so we can write for value in iterable and then we have we if we want we can write any condition so here we are showing an example of list comprehension so here num squares we define a variable equal to v into v so for v in range 1 to 11 so this range function will create a uh, sequence of object 1 to 10 and for this loop basically will uh, uh, return each of the uh, item and then we will make it a square number v into v and then we assign them in the num square so total this thing will become another list so if i run this program you see you can see that from 1 to 10 you see 1 2 2 to the power 4 3 to the power 3 9 4 to the power 4 16 like this way a series is created as a list and in the normal way what we can do we can uh, define an empty list like this way then we can uh, like uh, write the for loop and then we can write num squares plus equal to v into v as the item of and then we can print square. you see both cases you are getting a list of item with square numbers uh, but this is the shortcut way so this is called list comprehension in the last example we did not use any if condition within list comprehension but here suppose you want to get a square number list but you want only the odd number so there the from the same thing we can write that a list syntax then v into v for v in range 1 comma 11 and then we can write if v mod 2 equal not equal to 0 that means that's a odd number so this list comprehension only generate odd number square list so if i run this program you see now it is showing only the odd number that 1 9 25 49 81 like this we can also use shortcut for as dictionary expression like list comprehension for example here we are creating a dictionary and you see here this is a dictionary symbol curly breaks and then we are defining a key so v is the key then we are putting a colon and then uh, we are writing the value v into v so that means for each of the key v there is a v into v as the value then we are uh, evaluate the loop for v in range 1 to 11 then if v mod 2 not equal to 0 that means for odd number create a dictionary where there will be key and value so if i run this program you see it is showing the key first items key is 1 and the value is 1 then the second item is 3 and the value is 9 the third item uh, key is 5 and the value is 25 like this way so this is how we can use dictionary comprehension we can also use shortcut way of set expression so the syntax is quite similar to the dictionary expression you use curly braces but you do not have to put any key so if dictionary we will put like this v colon but here we do not need like any key because it's a set so then we are writing v into v then for v writing the loop also we are using the if condition so if i run this program you see it is showing a set of 1 9 81 49 and 25 so the difference of set and list is that in the set you can have a duplicate number so for the for if any situation that this uh, expression create any kind of duplicate value that value will not be added only unique value will be added in a set